Hello there, hope you're having a great Thursday. What is up guys and welcome to FPL Today and the FPL Captaincy Decision video for Game Week 32. In this series we're going to discuss the best captaincy options for each game week, every game week hopefully, and by doing so hopefully help you guys get the best possible rank in FPL. So guys, if you want help with your captaincy decisions, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell for FPL and let's get on to the video. So I tried to make this a little bit more interesting and there will be other options after we talk about Spurs. But unfortunately, with it being a double game week for Tottenham with Everton away and Southampton at home, we do have to talk about and discuss the fact that the most likely captain for a lot of people is going to be Harry Kane. And there's a good reason for that. One, he does have the double game week. Two, the fixtures are decent. But more importantly, he is a player on form right now, potentially returning to the form of his life. And it's been a while. I remember a couple of seasons with Kane not really returning like we were used to him doing so when he first burst onto the scene. But it seems like he has improved under Mourinho. Maybe one of the few players that has. And he has got the numbers to back up his captaincy call. He has managed to get over the last six game weeks, expected goals of 4.94, expected assists of 1.6, and also an XGI of 64%. That's expected goal involvement as a percentage. That's resulted in him having six goals and two assists in the last six game weeks, which is a great return and also the highest scoring player out of all the captaincy options that I'm going to pick. Second place being someone that only got three points less, but still, other than that, Kane's significantly ahead of everyone else other than that person. Also, with his opponents being Everton and Southampton in the last six, expected goals against Everton have been eight. 8.97 and also goals conceded has actually been five so they're expected to concede more and with Harry Kane's finishing maybe that will come to fruition and they've got a clean sheet in 50% of their games then Southampton who Spurs play at home have an expected goals conceded at 11.29 with expected clean sheets at 1.07 they only got one clean sheet in the last six game weeks and have conceded 13 goals so a Southampton fixture looks particularly promising for Harry Kane and also, I guess you could say Hyung Min Son, who I know some people are considering because he could be a decent differential captain. A lot is made of ownership and effective ownership. And with an XG of 1.28, an XA of 2.90, and expected goal involvement at 47%, I can understand the desire to go for someone different, especially if you're playing a triple captain potentially. But I see Kane as the best option in this game week. I will discuss other options, and I potentially think there's better options than Son out there, but I think Kane is the standout, which is why he's going to be captained by so many of us. But also, you've got to take into account that not everyone around you is part of the twitter community or the youtube community and potentially there could be people who do go for a different captain maybe around your rank and not even playing to be honest so just because it seems like everyone's going to cane around you doesn't necessarily mean everyone will be but yeah of course the players more invested will see kane as a great captain as for Hyung Min Son, I just don't think I will go there. He hasn't been on fire recently and he's a player that could definitely return big points and has been a great asset at times this season, but I just think Kane stands head and shoulders above him right now. So let's try and make this interesting. Let's discuss some other options, some single game week players. And West Ham actually have some decent options here for your captaincy if for some reason you don't have Kane or Son. But if you don't have Kane or Son, I'd potentially say bring in Kane for this game week. But if you don't want to, and that's definitely possible, I think Jesse Lingard is a decent shout. Now, I know I don't own him in my side. I know a lot of people say this form can't continue. And to be honest, the people that say that are probably right. I think at some point he will stop scoring at the rate he is scoring at. But still, at his price of 6.5 million, he is absolutely fantastic value and could still carry on with those returns for the rest of this season. He's managed an XG of 3.28, better than Hyung Min Son, an XA of 1.41, and expected goal involvement at 52%. That has meant that so far in the last six game weeks, he has managed a return of five goals and three assists. That pretty much matches Kane for goal involvement with one more assist and one less goal. And these are the two players that 
stand out as far as points as well 51 points to Kane Lingard getting 48 so if you really wanted to be different maybe Lingard could have another great game week and really help your rank although I still prefer Kane just to make that very clear to everyone watching an outside shout is also Bowen potentially now playing leading the line with Antonio's injury at 5.9 million you do have a player that could benefit from the way West Ham are currently playing with an XG of 1.76 an XA of 0.79 and expected goal involvement at 28%. I expect that to rise for Bowen with the way things are going at West Ham currently. Also, as far as expected goals, West Ham have 5.19 expected goals, but have scored nine. So they're really outperforming their expected goals. And apart from the likes of Leicester City and Arsenal, there isn't really any other team that are really outperforming their expected goals by a significant amount. So I think definitely West Ham are capable with the Newcastle fixture, a team that have got an expected goals conceded at 8.99 and only one clean sheet in the last six game weeks. I think it's definitely possible that Lingard and maybe even Bowen could be a decent differential. Still go for Kane though, yeah? Kane is the best captaincy choice. Although watching blank now, but either way, we move on to the final player I'm considering as a captain, although I will put it on Kane, and that is Bruno Fernandes from Man United, and he's playing Burnley at home. Now, Burnley have pretty bad stats for their defence. Expected goals conceded at 11.62. They have no clean sheets in their last six, and they've conceded 12 goals, which makes them right for the picking for a Man United side that potentially are on a high after their victory over Spurs. Bruno didn't really get much in that game though, unfortunately, but maybe in this one he can change that. He's got an XG of 2.29, XA of 1.56, and expected goal involvement at 41%. I'm looking at this fixture more of a Bruno, you need to prove yourself though, than I am likely to put the captaincy armband on him because right now I don't have Lingard. An easy way to get Lingard would be not to have Fernandez, and Fernandez is currently the player in that midfield that has impressed me the least recently or my midfield so bruno hopefully you get a big return if anyone's brave enough to captain you good luck to them but i have picked the worst week to bring in a new series called captaincy decisions when to be honest harry kane is quite clearly the standout Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any other captaincy candidates or any captaincy questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And also go follow me on Twitter at JNO underscore FPL so you can get involved with the videos moving forward because we want to kind of get your tweets involved in both the captaincy decision video as well as the preview video that I'm hopefully going to be doing every week. So go follow me on Twitter at JNO underscore FPL. I've been JNO. This has been FPL Today. And remember, it's all about the game. Game.